Hi, this is Rajiv Mahabir, and I'm coming to you from Malden, Massachusetts, which is uh, in the Boston area. Um, today I'm feeling okay, and I'm happy to be making this video for you. My favorite self-care practice that I've been going through lately has been making the older foods in my family that people don't usually make anymore. Things like karhi and um, roti that's stuffed with meat and that kind of thing. And it's a good way for me to connect to uh, the younger part of me where I'm feeling the same joy that my dog and cat feel as they wrestle behind me. Um, and if you follow me on social media, you've probably seen a lot of uh, my my, fanta my fantastic beasts. So um, that's one of the self-care practices that I am involved in right now. Another one is to uh, go back and really give myself time to dig into these Bhojpuri Loki uh, books that I found in, 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 uh, while I was in India in the early 2000s, um, which go through Bhojpuri folk song cycles. And it's been fun because you know, in my daily life, I don't let myself delve too deep into the things that are not the most important and uh, close at hand. So basically, uh, with that, I've been listening to a lot of <laughs> Bollywood music from the 80s and 90s uh, as a way to have fun and to really let go and to remind myself of a time where things were a little bit easier for me um, personally and uh, psychically here in the United States. Um, I would like to also recommend to folks who are watching, if you are able, to donate um, and to support the mission of DRUM, which is a New York-based organization. Um, it's an acronym which stands for Daisies Rising Up and Moving. That's uh, multi-generational, um, whose membership has led organizations of low-wage South Asian and Indo-Caribbean immigrant workers and youth in New York City. Um, and their long-term vision is to build the power of immigrant workers in the U.S. in unity with all workers and communities for human rights. Um, and so they see themselves also um, linked to movements for justice in the United States, rooted in working in solidarity with people of the global South for just global trade, economic, and foreign policies. And so they're really doing some important frontline work here and with relief and education in New York City. So if you have and are able to contribute to um, the cause of DRUM, then I, that's something that I would really, I really support. Um, and I wanted to read to you a poem today from the Guyanese poet, Martin Carter, who was born in 1927 and died in 1999, and he's acknowledged as Guyana's greatest poet to date. Um, and he is very, very important to the world of Caribbean poetry. And in this book, um, which um, I, I, in this, the poem that I'll read for you in this book, uh, which was published in 2006, um, posthumously, of course, um, is called Tomorrow and the World. This is another thing that keeps me really um, healthy. The dog and the cat uh, doing their little daily dance. Tomorrow and the World. I am most happy as I walk the cellar of sweet says friend, and the shoemaker with his awl and waxen thread, reminds me of tomorrow and the world. Happy is to shake your hand and to sing with you, my friend. Smoke rises from the furnace of life, red, red, red the flames. Green grass and yellow flowers, smell of mist, the sun's light everywhere, the light of day, everywhere the songs of life are floating, like new ships, on a new river sailing, sailing. Tomorrow and the world and the songs of life and all my friends. Ah, yes, tomorrow and the whole world awake and full of good life. I really hope that you stay safe in these trying times and that we together We'll see the other end of this.